Good evening. This briefing is classified. You may not share any details of this mission with anyone. If asked, you conducted a recon flight during when you saw nothing out of the ordinary. During the mission, you will remain radio silent. The enemy in this area of operations are backed into a corner. They still hold a large area with four airstrips that we intend to strike soon. However, the GRU have alerted us of an old Soviet bunker containing weapons of mass destruction. So far, the Soviets do not know of the existence of this bunker, but the GRU expect this to change within a few hours. While the weapons cannot do damage on an international level, the damage potential for the local level is substantial. Thunder 1 Flight will conduct a precision strike against the bunker entrance using LS-6-500 glide bombs. Initial point is waypoint 2. Launch point is waypoint 3. This will bury the bunker entrance in debris that will take weeks to clear out, buying us time to destroy the enemy utterly before they can reach the weapons of mass destruction, or strike any recovery efforts should the fortune of war go against us in the meantime. The area is covered with SAMs, one SA-10 battery and several SA-2 batteries. Russian bombers have tried to knock out the SA-10, but so far no missiles have hit. They intend to do another attempt, this time against the SA-2, during our mission. This will give you good cover as hopefully the enemy eyes will be looking at the bombers, rather than the lone recon plane. The enemy operate a large number of aircraft at the four airfields. Expect MiG-23s and 29s. Only engage the specific target. You may engage enemy aircraft in self-defense, but it is not advised that you do so unless it is absolutely necessary. Data coverage. And let's load the relevant information. Warning. Kill the master warning. We're also going to make sure that we have sufficient lighting in the cockpit. And then we are going to activate our data link. Data link is active. Claps down. Copy, make up control, we will taxi to runway 4. We don't need the entire runway, so we'll take the taxiway to the right. There we go, HUD brightness set toned down a little bit. Ready to take off, runway 4.
Rotating. Is that heading for waypoint zero one? And kill the afterburner. We don't need it. What we do need. Thunder one, radar contact. Head towards waypoint two and await confirmation on the destruction of the SAM sites. Copy that, we will be killing our external lights, meanwhile. And as Bear Cub said, we will be heading towards waypoint 2. Thunder 1, you are clear to proceed. Two SA2 sites are out of the action. Copy, Bear Cub. Thunder 1 will proceed as fragged. We're coming up on the launch point. Turning towards the target, both glide bombs are ready for deployment. Range to target should be 13 nautical miles. In fact, I think we're a little bit too close. Not too close for the weapons to actually hit, but closer than we really ought to be. Especially considering our altitude. Let's turn on to the target. Bombs away! I say again, bombs away. Set heading for waypoint zero four and let's get the hell out of here. I sure hope they are on target. There's no way for me to actually hell at this point. They're going for what whatever point has been pre-planned into them. Thunder 1, your recon run have yielded interesting results. Return to base. With pleasure, Bear Cub. Thunder 1 will return to base. Copy tower, runway zero four. Shoot! And that is another mission well done.
I honestly don't know what you expect to see here. The cruise missiles launched by the Blackjacks did a fine job of sweeping the enemy SAM sites out of our way. And the combat air patrol that was launched with MiG-23s turned out to fly in the wrong direction, only turning against us once the we had already passed the area. All in all, we flew our assigned routes. We came perilously close to the flogger there for a moment. But all this ever was, was a recon run where we did not see anything out of the ordinary. 